Michael Stanley Jones with the United Nations Environment Program. I asked you about body burden. Do you know what a body burden refers to? Uh, chemical body burden. Chemicals in your body. Do you know about body burden? Body. Body burden. Body yeah. burden. Do you know the term body burden? Never heard of that term before. This is a, a problem that is getting worse because we're using more and more chemicals. We're seeing changes in the epidemiological patterns of uh, cancers. Chemical body burden refers to the total amount of chemicals that are held in the human body, many of which now are... The issue is to, to transfer the message to the public because these chemicals are in each and every one of us and there need to be things done and I think those those people can actually play a very active and, and important role to transfer the message. In my perspective, it, it's very clever to engage people that are, are having public faces, actors and sportsmen. We're here today to meet Ed Bagley Jr., American actor, playwright, and ecological activist. Now, you're gonna have to trust me. And Stina Hadstadt Bratsberg, two-time overall World Cup ski champion, Olympic gold medalist, and advocate for corporate social responsibility. Ed and Stina are joining us at the United Nations Medical Services Division building to have their blood taken. They're donating their blood so we can analyze and discover the toxic chemicals that are in their bodies. Chemistry that we have lived with our whole lives. Sleep on a polyurethane mattress have perchlorethylene, you know, uh, residue from the pants you put on. Breathe perchlorethylene when you go in the dry cleaners. Trichlorethylene, the water supply. You know, hopefully not some hexavalent chromium in your water. You know, on and on, there's such a litany of chemistry. If I'm going to be a part of the safe planet, I really need to know, and I would like to know my own uh, burden concerning chemicals in my body. I got good veins. They always yeah. say, wow, you got good veins. Yeah. <laughs> I'd make a lousy junkie, though. I'm real bad at when the needle goes in. Ladies first. Oh, Felicia, I'm going to be your phlebotomist for today. Yeah. Exactly. Nice to meet you. Nice Felicia. to meet you. And I see you're assessing your veins, right? Yeah, yes, we're getting we're, ready for you. Uh, who has better ones? I don't know. You tell me. You know uh, veins. Beautiful veins on both of you. Great. <laughs> I guess lady goes first, don't yeah. I? Okay, I'm not a real doctor, but I play one on TV. I can do this. <laughs> How hard could this be? I need a glove. I need to get gloves. I don't think it matters actually whether you do it or they do it and I think it's the same, don't you think so? And the idea is to get into a vein and not cause you any pain, correct? Now, you're gonna have to trust me. I better not contaminate anything. I must admit that I'll take blood tests a whole lot of time, <laughs> so I'm not nervous about taking the blood test. Ooh, you, 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 Ed! <laughs> he gets more. Ed, look here. <laughs> Well, that's how many you're gonna take? Yeah. Yes. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> She's being very brave. I hope I can rise to the occasion and not pass out. So let's see what it contains. When we were quite young, we would spray the sprayer, which was back then DDT, I believe. Yeah, it was before it was banned. Spray it on each other. Hey, the, you know, you get hit with a lot of different chemicals. How many of them remain in your body for a long period of time? That's the question. Hmm. Um, I'm um, very um. Good. Oh, she's good. Oh, you're so good. That's about as good as you're going to get with the needle going in, folks. I'm telling you. You're amazing. Only the best for you. And Michael is, is next. <laughs> you didn't you're know in, that. You're Michael. in good hands. You are I, nice. I wore my blood red tie just for this <laughs> My name is Sophie Bergman. I'm, I'm coming from Stockholm. And Your last name again is Dino. In, no, in I, Swedish, Bergman. I always wanted to be in a film with Bergman. Oh, so now I finally get my wish. This is great. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Are you concerned about toxic chemicals in your own body? Absolutely, definitely. Because there's so many chemicals on the market, you don't know what's in them. I've heard that um, a lot of medications are dumped down the toilet, get into the into the water system. Sometimes not knowing if there's chemicals in foods, and so you're not actually quite sure what you're putting in, are you? I mean, we know that pollution and everything is doing something to the earth and 
but now it's doing something to us, so it's like we have to be aware of that. This one's just born, she's one week old. And the big brother, he's 15 months. I want that they should have a decent life, a, a long life, and they should be healthy. So if they have too much chemical things in their body, this could harm the life. I think we all need to reduce the exposure to hazardous chemicals as much as we can. What does that mean? Does that mean no chemicals? Life without chemistry is not life. There's chemistry in DNA. There's a lot of chemistry, quite good chemistry, that we need to survive. And we should keep all that and try to weed out some of the stuff that we don't need. What do you do to protect yourself from toxic chemicals in your body? Consume organic products. My family and I, we really try to stay away from anything that's not organic. Use natural products. You can use lemon and things to clean surfaces. Well, I guess the government could enforce uh, stricter rules with industries that pollute the water and pollute the air. Well, trying first to inform myself about where can I find this and, and then trying to get rid of those things. Have you taken steps to take responsibility for your own health? Not yet. Are you planning to? Starting today. I've always been curious what the levels are of some persistent organic compounds. How many of them remain in your body for a long period of time? That's the question. Studies have shown that some children now have higher levels of toxic chemicals than their parents' generation have. How do you feel learning that children may be at greater risk from chemical pollutions? It's an evolution we don't want to get to. I mean, it's, it's anti-evolution. Let's see what it contains. Always wanted to be in a film with Bergman. Oh, so now I finally get my wish. This is great. Well, I'm the third Bergman. Okay. Well, After Ingrid and Bergman. Ingmar. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a, For sure. a lifelong dream. Thank you so much.